Good morning children, welcome back. This is session 5 of our week 10 phonics. That's right, it's the final session of the week and it's the final session of the term. We have now reached the end of our phase 3 phonics, so well done to you guys. Okay, we're going to start off with quick flash, so get ready to call out the sounds. Qu. O and U. W. J. Z. Z. K. Y. And start from this side. Ah. E, oi, o, a, a, i, ia, er, yo, ow, o, ch, v, and s, sh, n, and a. Well done. Okay, let's move on to our tricky words. Get ready to call them out. So the first one is all and then was. We. Her. Be. Me. He. They, my, she, and you. Well done. Okay, right, we've got no more new phonemes. So this week we have practiced your and a, uh, yesterday's digraph. So we're going to practice those two again today. Uh, we've just got four sentences to write today. So let's get our sentence fingers ready. The first one is going to be, my sister is mature. Let's do that again. My sister is mature. One more time. My, well done. Okay, pause the video, repeat that sentence and join me when you are ready. What's my sentence again? My sister is mature. Okay, that means she's very grown up. My sister is mature. So start with my tricky word, sister. Okay, let's break it up. Sister. Sound out sis. S, I, S, and then t. T, a digraph. My sister is mature. M, mat, your. M, a, t, mat. Your. Okay, we've done this word before. Sounds like mature, but it's n it's not a ch there, it's a t. Okay, and there's no y there, it's just the your trigraph. My sister is mature. Full stop. Okay, simple sentence to begin with. Let's move on. So rub out your boards. Next sentence is going to be, get ready with your sentence fingers. My hair is longer now let's do that again my hair is longer now your turn my well done i'm sure a lot of you have longer hair now being stuck at home not being able to go to the hairdressers or the barbers what's my sentence again my hair is longer now my Hair. H. Which one is air? With an A. Air starts with an A, remember? My hair is longer. Long. A. L. O. Ng. A. My hair is longer now. N. Our digraph. Full stop. My hair is longer now. Well done. Okay. Two more sentences. We're nearly there. So rub out your boards. Get your sentence fingers ready. That 
will be Jess might join us for dinner tonight. And again, Jess might join us for dinner tonight. One more time. Jess. Well done. Pause the video and join me when you are ready. Remember to use a sound mat if you are getting stuck. What was my first word? Jess. Okay, what is Jess? It's a name. Okay, so capital J. J S. Jess might. M. I try graph. Jess might join. J O I N. J O I N. Jess might join us for f or digraph. Jess might join us for dinner. Din n din. D i n n n. A digraph. Jess might join us for dinner tonight. So break it up. To night. To night. N I try graph. T full stop. Jess might join us for dinner tonight. Jess might join us for dinner tonight. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. We haven't changed anything. We haven't missed anything. Well done. Okay, last sentence. Rub out your boards for me, please. Remember, if you are getting stuck, use your sound mat for graphing recognition. Okay, our last sentence is going to be The manure is at the farmyard. One more time. The Manure is at the farmyard. Your turn. The well done. Okay, pause the video and join me when you are ready. What was my sentence? The manure is at the farmyard. So first word is the capital beginning of a sentence. The manure. M man. M at n your your trigraph. The manure is at the farmyard. Let's break it up. Farm yard. First part, farm. F R digraph M mm, farm yard. Y R digraph. D. Farm yard. The manure is at the farmyard. Full stop. The manure is at the farmyard. Okay, well done. That was the end of our session today. So let's have a look. We have learnt all of these phonemes for phase three. Okay, we have finished our phase three sounds. We've learnt all our phase two and three tricky words as well. So what's going to happen next? That was the end of our session, children. That was the end of this term. So you have got about three weeks left at school. So in the meantime, what's going to happen is we are going to swiftly move on to phase four. I will not be making any phase four videos, unfortunately, um, because it's that time of the year where we are getting ready for children moving up to their next teacher. And I'm having meetings with all your teachers for next year. Um, having handover meetings and also meeting the new nursery and reception intake coming into our schools as well. So there's a lot of preparation happening in the next three weeks. There'll be no more phase four videos because in phase four there's no more new sounds. Okay, So you are lucky there's no more new sounds for the rest of the year until you get to year one. All there is is new tricky words Okay, and lots of practice reading and writing sentences longer sentences and polysyllabic words as well. So don't be afraid. I am going to keep putting some resources up on our school website to support you with that. Sound mats, 
um, writing frames and activity worksheets that you can keep practicing and also I'm just going to be uploading a PowerPoint every week where you can practice learning the two new tricky words every week. You'll be learning two new tricky words every week so that you can get to um, memorize those tricky words in time before you get you start um, in September in year one. Okay, so don't worry about it. There will be more support. Um, and if you do need any help or anything, any extra support in the meantime, you can always get in touch with me. I'm more than happy to help. Um, I hope you've had a good time. I've certainly had a good time. I've managed to somehow stay in touch with all of you by doing these videos. And the evidence that I'm getting from your parents looks absolutely amazing. I am so proud of all of you for continuing to learn, continuing to do all your reading, writing, fun activities, physical activities, um, developing your social and communication skills at home with your parents and your siblings as well. I am so proud of all of you. All of our teachers are very proud of you. Um, you have made so much progress and I'm very, very sure that this is all going to pay off when you go up, um, up the school into year one as well. So I'm very sad that this is our last session, but I'm very happy knowing that you have learned all of your sounds and your tricky words before we got to the end of this year, even though there was no school. You were not going to school, but you've still done so much learning. And that is just amazing. Um, you are, you are, I'm just really, really proud of all of you. Okay, if I could give you all a sticker, I'd give you all a sticker from here. But instead, I'm just going to give you a big high five. And I think you should all give yourselves a pat on the back. One, two, three. Well done, me. Okay, because you deserve it. Okay, I um, hope you've all had a good time. I'm looking forward to seeing you all soon. Maybe back at school in September. Okay, in the meantime, I'd like you all to keep practicing. Okay, the last three sounds, the er, er, your and uh, are the tricky ones. You are going to need more support with those and I'm going to give you more support. You can always go back to the old videos and keep practicing those sounds as well. Okay, and you by the end of today, you would have brand new Bug Club books all allocated to you. And from now on, they will start going up to the phase four um, bug club books so that you can practice reading books with your new tricky words too. So just keep practicing reading those books um, so that you can keep practicing using your phonics um, knowledge. Remember to keep looking out for those graphemes, those tricky words before you go out and sound them out. Um, use a sound mat to help you. Um, but yeah, if you need any resources, parents, just email me. I can send you our resources. In the meantime, just keep an eye out on our website week by week. Um, so starting from week 11, I'll start uploading some phase four resources for you to have a go at home with your families. OK, um, in the meantime, I hope you've all enjoyed these sessions. I certainly have enjoyed teaching you. It's been an absolute pleasure um, and I'm always really, really happy to see the progress that you've made. I'd like you to all make sure that you are staying safe um, in the summer and look forward to seeing some of you back in September. If not, and you're not from our school, I just want to say that it's been an absolute pleasure and thank you so much for your support and joining me. Um, and I wish you all the best in your future. Take care of yourselves. Bye everyone.